Hi, welcome to the channel. I'm Andy Jenkinson, the caravan industry expert. Hi, welcome to another video. Now, I'm in Northampton. Um, you have to give me, I've got a bit of a cold still. And I'm at the caravan company at their, uh, th I've got the name of the branch now, but anyway, it's just off the A6. And I'm just going to come and do a, a, a couple of used caravan reviews, or a used caravan review while I'm here. I've been doing some work for practical. And it's amazing what you find. Look at this, like this. Vitesse, uh, CI Caravan Group. Um, yeah. It's still not many of these around left in now. Um, L shaped seating round at the front. I don't think it's open. I doubt it. It is. Look at this. So there you go. Wow. The worrying aspect of this, of course, is I can remember these new. Seeing these at the Birmingham show, um, and yeah, look at this. This was like upmarket. Um, your reading lights there. I'm not sure if those are fitted as standard. I can't remember the top of my head. Um, the fact this old girl is still in one piece is quite amazing, really, because it did leak quite badly, uh, and that's a little fire thing going off. Needs a new battery in it. But these are quite I mean, oh gosh, these are quite nice because it's absolutely freezing. Um, but it feels a spacious van, double dinette layout. I mean lots of room in this in the middle here. Um, <coughs> look at the cooker now and it's like oops, little two burner. Let's have your grill and your sink can Combined with your, your drainer, of course, uh, fridge there, and just general cupboard there. That was meant if you want to stick it, um, an oven in at some stage. But I really find this intriguing. This van has sort of survived, as to say, very few these CI protesters around. Look at the washroom, how simple things were. Now, on the 83. I think it was 82, 83, just top of my head. You could actually buy these in like sort of kit form. You add to your washer. So if you on a basic van, you get you you get that, and then you could buy the shower tray and a few of the bits as separate to build up your your washroom. Wow. Of course, this is your end double the net with uh, a bunk above. I just think this has given people many many. Happy holidays. And the upholstery is looking faded now, but you know, this van is uh, around about 36 years old. Uh, plus, I'll have to have a check actually. Oh, look, there's the old Carver trimmer heater in. That was a model that was going for many, many years. My dad bought one of those for off uh, his Welton caravan, so I could use it during the winter time. <coughs> Say, I've just got to give the old frog in the throat. Ah, little push button there, we don't look that. I presume this is, it, there's nothing on it, I presume this has just come in as a trade in and it'll just go out as a, it's just sort of a trade out really. What a shame, it's, it's, it's done well to survive, it's in, it's, it's in good order, actually. And the floor, there's no sogginess in the floor at all, the floor feels solid as the day the van was made. Quick look outside. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is actually a dealer special or it was made as an upmarket sprite because it's based on the sprite uh, profile. I love the little airfoil, aerofoil thing there to help aid the egg over the back of the van. Um, so, yes, I'm pretty much uh, guessing this is around about 87 88. Uh, I'll have to check it out because the old memory bank's going, I think. 
but it is in reasonable condition, it really is. So this was built at Newmarket. Um, the old original Sprite factory. And this was a few years before Smith Group took the Sprite name on. But it is the Vitesse, yes. Just interesting what you can find sometimes in the back of these in dealers. This is a cabin company, as I say, it's uh, just outside in Northampton. I'm going to have a quick look down this bottom end because I saw some covers over some caravans. And uh, uh, well, I had a look before, uh, but I'll show you them anyway because I was talking to the salesman and apparently they want to get them done up at some stage. Let's have a look. Right. All these vans obviously have got these covers on. And as soon as I saw this one here, I thought that looked really, really interesting. I mean, mine was going round to think what it was. And I thought, it can't be an Alpha. And yes, it is. It's an Alpha. Oops, sorry about this. Um, I'm not going to take the cover off completely, obviously. I'll show you, try and get, I'll show you a, fact, uh, a publicity shot of this. And this was actually used, so this is about 1980. This was actually used um, for um, a land speed record thing to own a caravan in Elvington in York. And this this was the actual one. And apparently they actually thought that this well it was just chucked, it was just literally left to rot. What a shame. So I'll try and put the, the actual picture of what it would look like when it was in its former glory. And again, I looked at a few of these. And again, as soon as I looked under here, I knew that was a Castleton. Again, I could not take the covers off, but that's a side underneath there. So again, probably late 80s Castleton. Two berth. And under this bit here, again, as soon as I saw this, and I saw those, that's these here, and the legs, I knew this was a car uh, uh, a car light. Again, it looks like the two berth. Now I'm just back in again over here, under this cover. Is uh, sorry, but we can't show you these properly, obviously. But this is yet another Castleton caravan again, hand built luxury caravans. So, I'm trying to create a little bit more. Just trying to get the year of it, possibly. Uh, it's looking sort of like a, an 8081 by looks, but again, caravans at just a shame that, uh, well, it's not going to be shit because I think they're going to do something with them. And that's so that's two Castletons. Down here, there's another van, and it is yet. Oops, get this. Sorry, I can't show you the van This is another old classic, and this is a Cheltenham. So, again, judging by its year, I mean, I can't see from here without my glasses on, uh, but it's obviously pre, it's probably around about 60, 62 way, something like that. So, a couple of Castletons, Carlite, and the Cheltenham, all waiting to be restored, but the one, hang on, let's turn myself around. Oops, but the one for me, and this is no disrespect to the others, because all hand-built luxury vans, is this Alpha. Because I remember the Alphas being launched in around 1976-77, like 
and the guy was called Eric Prue. And Eric Prue had a dealership down in Oxon, I think it was, in Oxfordshire. I think it was Oxon. Anyway, um, and he was into caravan road rallying with a CI brand. He was a CI dealer. And he decided to make a caravan himself and design it so it was aerodynamic. It could be towed uh, very fast at speed on the continent and also looked very, very distinctive. Hence, he came up with the Alpha. Now, I don't think there's more than maybe 50, 60, 70 maybe made. Maybe a few more, I don't know, but very, very few survive. I've not seen one for a long, long time. I think Highbridge Caravan Centres used to have two years ago. But there it is. It had this big sweeping front on it. And the back was pretty much the same. So we're going to get, this was a time when sort of aerodynamics were playing a massive part in caravans and, and, and ABI actually did the Tycoon range which was a, a short lived range but the ABI award for 83 took the profile on it, it was a very aerodynamic van but this is that's what it looked like at the back, sorry you can't really see much about it can you? But this was the one they towed at high speed. So, sort of interesting things I find on my little jaunts. Anyway, I'm going to try and quickly do a little review on an Eldis 302 because I love the little Eldis 302. And there's one over here and it's in absolutely lovely condition inside. Come on, let's go. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you like them. Please don't forget to press the thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.